If the economy is going well, then I can't tell. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Let's Go of the Hardcore Pawn TV show. Talking about a lot more customers are coming into his pawn shop asking for loans in the past six months than they have before. Now, before we get into the video, let's back up a little bit. If you ask the Biden administration, if you ask a lot of leftists on television, they'll tell you that the economy is going very well. We're adding a lot more jobs. Inflation is going down. All the metrics point to a booming economy. I mean, that's what I've been told. If you've heard differently from mainstream media, leftists, Biden administration, y'all let me know in the comments. But that's what I've heard. A lot of positivity, a lot of upbeat talking about the economy. But once you actually look at what's happening in the economy, once you actually talk to people and ask what's going on, things are much different. The inflation is much worse than what the numbers show. Housing shortage, food expensive. Things are getting really, really, really tight. And I don't really see it getting better in the near future. We got all these crazy policies on the books from the Biden administration. One of the main policies being the open border. That's not going to help things at all. If you're able to get these illegal aliens coming in, taking up resources, taking up jobs, potential Tyson Foods, that's going to be a problem. Oh, ABL, they do the jobs that Americans don't want to do. Well, maybe Americans don't want to get paid next to zero dollars for their work. Maybe they want to get paid what it actually makes since to get paid in America, if you're a regular, normal, taxpaying American citizen, rather than a legal alien with no rights. Now, before I go any further into it, let's get to the actual clip. This is going to be on the anger mangle over on Fox News. Of course, I will link to this video in full in the box. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Bidenomics is so great that Americans aren't living paycheck to paycheck anymore. They're living pawn shop to pawn shop. Now, people who never ever walked into a pawn shop in their lives are now walking in desperate. Maybe they have their engagement ring in their hand or a few rare coins a grandmother gave them. Given the high cost of food, high cost of gas, everything really is high cost. It's a last resort. People need a little extra cash just to get by. Yep. And when pawn shop store inventory rises, that means fewer buyers than sellers. Let me read this right here. It says pawn shops know something about the U.S. economy that Biden doesn't. Times are still tough. Right now, we have a glut of inventory, Barron said. Accumulating pawn shop inventory means fewer buyers than sellers, a sign that for the lowest income Americans, times remain tough. Right. You get more inventory when people are giving you things, you know, selling you things or quote unquote loaning, whatever it is. You have a more inventory because people want more money from you and people are less likely to buy because they don't have it to buy. There's another sign that for the lowest income Americans, times remain tough. Joining me now is Les Gold, owner of American Jewelry and Loan, and you know him from the reality show Hardcore Pawn. Les, great to see you. Um, what are your customers you very much. telling you um, now about the situation out there? Now, before he gets into it, his pawn shop is located in Detroit, Michigan. I think there's other locations of the same store in the surrounding area in Michigan. Now, some are going to say, well, it's Detroit ABO. They're going to have money problems. I mean, not necessarily, not necessarily. And then even if they are already going to have money problems in Detroit, when you see an uptick in people selling things, that lets you know that there's a problem because there's a baseline for poverty in the place for people that are struggling in the place. And then when you see things start to tick up, that could be an indicator of a problem that exists beyond Detroit, Michigan. But let's continue. Well, my customers have been telling me for years, but lately, uh, in the last six months, we have more customers coming in that are desperate in need of money. They need to put food on their table, gas in their tank, and a roof over their heads. So we see a lot more customers coming in now for loans. And is it just getting by month to month on the, uh, the basic necessities that they need? Are they trying to pay off loans that they owe or, or just just food gas no, you're saying stuff. month to month you're saying month to month our customers our clientele are pawning items to oh. make it through the week they're mm. not worried about the next month they're you know a paycheck may come and may not come 
but they come in each and every day to pawn their items because they're in need of money, like I said, just for the necessities. Oh, that is, that is just a heartbreak. Um, are there parts of the country that are worse off that you can- Now, before he answers that question about other parts of the country, um, what's gonna end up happening is if these pawn shops keep getting inundated with people selling things and they don't have enough buyers, the pawn shops will have to buy things for a lower amount of money because they might not have it themselves to keep on giving out to the customers. You know, at a certain point, you got to make money as a pawn shop. That's the whole point of you being in business, not just to buy items without the ability to sell them. You can kind of glean from your you know, experience in, in the pawn in the, shop in the world. Pawn business, you know, pawn businesses are all over the United States. And I hear from all of the people that I know that are in the business, everybody across the United States is dealing with the same item, same problems. You know, they're they're. Mm. The, the retail isn't as good, so you need cash to give out, and there's not always that amount of cash that you can always give out to the customer. The good yeah. thing is pawn shops, uh, pawning items, they're non-recourse loans, so it's not going to hurt their credit scores or their uh, ability to get uh, credit. Now, tell us about the you know, oddest things that have ever oh been pawned well, in your experience? I know it's a long list, but the audience wants to know. Well, it's a long list, but, the, but what comes to mind first is, uh, if you remember Jack Kevorkian, uh, Dr. Death, uh, who did assisted suicides in the state of Michigan, uh, somebody came in and ended up selling me his van. So of all the things that I've ever taken in, what? that was the most unique. Yeah, oh, the, the Dr. Death's van. How much you give for it? Well, it was on the show. I ended up getting, we, we made a bet. The guy wanted 40,000. I flipped him 20 or 40. I got it for 20,000. So it was yeah. still really not worth the money, but just the idea of having something so iconic, uh, I had to, ah. I had to make the deal. So, yeah, well, yeah. Some, 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 some more traditional or conservative Americans would say burn it. Um, you once said that right. pawn shops can um, predict the economy six months in advance here we go i think this now we're going to get into it because when you when you see certain patterns in the pawn shop you're able to kind of understand where we're going you know because they they have their finger on the pulse of the american people they understand what's going on from the ground up quite literally but we keep hearing bidenomics is working the economy is getting better and improving we've been hearing that for some time so what's your prediction now well, it, you know, I see it each and every day. Six months ago, I saw we have two lines that come to the store, the Redeem line, which is the line that people pick up their merchandise, and the Pawn line, which is, a, which is the line that they bring in their merchandise to get money on. Now, the way Pawn Shops work, if I'm not mistaken, you can give your item over and get a loan, and then if you are able to come back and buy your item back, Basically, settling the loan, you can get the item back. But they may have already sold it. I'm not quite sure how that goes. I've gone to a pawn shop before when I wanted to sell a TV or something like that just because it's easy to do it. But I don't know about the loan part. If you know about that, let me know in the comments. But let me let them continue. Right now, the pawn line is probably twice as long as mm -hmm. the redemption line for people picking up merchandise. So we, okay. we know in advance, we're street level economists. We know what's happening way before the media does. Well, uh, Les, it, it is both fascinating and deeply disturbing. Americans deserve better than this, but thank you very much for explaining this to us. We needed to understand that. So there we go. Shout out to Les Go from the show Hardcore Pond. And he's talking about how customers are coming in every week just to be able to make ends meet week to week. It's not even about, okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit short for whatever bill this month. No, no, no. I need to be able to put gas in my tank right now. I need to be able to go put groceries in my house right now. That's the kind of thing we're dealing with in 2024 in this economy. And you heard him say, it's not just Michigan at his shop, at his locations in Michigan, surrounding Detroit, Pontiac, whatever. It's not even about just his location. It's all over the country. Other pawn shops are seeing the same exact thing happening. Now, as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to everybody out there that understands the reality of this economy. It's pretty rough out here in these streets. 
uh, built back better, all this and that. It's just bogus. It's just bogus. It's just talking points. They're not going to admit it, meaning the administration, the Biden administration, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Karen Jean-Pierre, they're not really going to admit what's going on. But there's no need for them to tell you what's happening when you could just go outside your house every single day and see what's happening with your own two eyes. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what's happening with the economy? Do you think we have a really strong economy and everything's on the up and up? Inflation going down. Real estate, not that expensive. Food, not that expensive. Jobs, plentiful. Paying a bunch of money. No migrant crisis. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Obviously, there's some really deep, deep problems in this economy. And the policies we have in the books from the Biden administration, from certain state governments like California, et cetera, they're not making it any better. They're actually making it a lot worse. And again, we don't need anyone to tell us these things. We can just look and see what's happening and come to a conclusion that things are really rough right now. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.